Coach, a, a tough result in, in a tough building. What did you make of the game tonight? You know, I thought we did some good things over the 60 minutes. You know, uh, got that first goal. Got the, I thought the power play was pretty effective. Um, you know, big, biggest turning point in the game for me was the goal towards the end of the second there. You, you get a multiple chances there on the power play, and, and even like once it was five on five, we had some great momentum there and couldn't get that second goal, and then they went down and, you know, an outside shot goes in. So that was certainly a turning point of the game. and. Um, I thought we made some pushes there in, in the third, but overall, uh, just uh, you know, the offense was uh, tough to come by. Uh, and obviously, there's a lot of pieces missing still in that offense. Um, how about Matt Sogard? Seems to not be able to catch a break here, really. Um, is there an update on him? Yeah, it looks like it's going to be day to day. You know, I mean, obviously, he went down there, it was a slash. Um, you know, on, on video, the, you know, the slash looks relatively innocent, but, uh, you know, he went for x-rays and uh, everything was good there. So, you know, I think Bell's going to have him at day-to-day. We'll just see. Could be a little bit of a nerve there, you know, where, just where the stick got him. So, uh, you know, obviously we'll have to bring Flo Dell in tomorrow with Mando, uh, Mandalizzi out too. So, uh, certainly we've had our uh, goaltending uh carousel going uh, early in the season here. Uh, and with that in mind, uh, a tough spot kind of for Antoine Bibo to uh, be kind of thrown into. Uh, he's working himself back from injury as well. Yeah, and I thought he was, you know, made some big saves for us. So, you know, I think uh, certainly love to have that second one back, you know, uh, anytime the perimeter shot goes in from out there, maybe a little bit deeper than that. But, you know, overall, he gave us a chance, made some big saves and under difficult circumstances. So, um, you know, hopefully, uh, you know, he can uh, ride, ride some games here moving forward until we get uh, some Mandalizzi and, and Sogard back. A couple of assists for Angus Cruikshank, uh, Ridley Gregg's first goal of the season. Uh, are those two guys starting to come along a bit? I hope so. I mean, I thought Luce was our best player tonight. You know, I thought he was all over the ice uh, all night. And, uh, you know, uh, it was, and then Ritter, you know, nice to see him get his first goal there. So, you know, he's going to he's gonna be a good player for us. And, uh you know, it was nice for him to, to get that one, even though it was that 4-1. But uh, you know what? I thought we did a good job with the goalie out there. And it was unfortunate. We tried to get the goalie out uh, before the fourth goal there. And uh, we got caught out there with four forwards and a little bit of puck focus there watching. And, and they made a 4-1. But you know what? We recovered and, and did some good things uh, six on five and got that second goal. So uh, hopefully that uh, you know, gives the Ritter some confidence moving forward. And lastly, what are the keys to... Uh on a quick turnaround tomorrow, getting a result at home? Well, at the end of the day, we got to go back home. And uh, as I said to the players, I thought we did some good things tonight. I mean, obviously, it wasn't a perfect hockey game. And, you know, the momentum swings here uh, certainly is something you've got to manage. But uh, overall, you know, there was there's pieces of our game I re- we, we really liked. And at the end of the day, you just got to go back and uh, win the home game to get the split. And then, uh, you know, then we move on to Monday. Okay, thanks.